The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our software automation webinar series. My name is Sasha Pizzoli. I'm a marketing coordinator at SWK Technologies, and it is my pleasure to welcome you all here today. This afternoon, I'll be joined by Phil Hall, ScanCo software specialist, and today he will be walking you through practical means to curtail complexity costs and inefficiencies associated with your warehouse and production floor. Just a few housekeeping items before we get started. All lines will be muted during the presentation and we will record and distribute the webinar to you in a few days. If you have any questions throughout the session, please type them in the chat box at the bottom of your GoToWebinar sidebar and then hit send question to staff um, and we'll make sure to get to those at the end of the webinar. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our presentation and I'll hand it over to Phil. Great, thank you so very much for that wonderful introduction. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us today. My name is Philip Hall, and I have the pleasure of uh, speaking to you from Sarasota, Florida at ScanCo. And uh, I'd like to just uh, take a quick second to set some expectations so everybody knows exactly what's going on today. Um, the call is gonna be anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how long I drone on and on. Uh, but I'll do my best to keep it uh, entertaining and short and sweet and uh, also give you some some nuggets to to chew on um, in the next few days so we're going to keep this relatively high level we're going to talk about how our solutions make sense and some of the uh, trends we're seeing out in the industry and, and some of the things we can do uh, to stay up with times and uh, a lot of these things are, are going to seem like common sense like most things we talk about uh, and then you know taking it from common sense to actually practicing it is a whole nother story and that's where we kind of come in and help with some of those things. So I understand everybody is on mute. I was gonna tell everybody to hold their applause till the very end, uh, but if you're applauding now, that's okay. I can't hear you anyways. I'll just uh, assume that's happening and keep it moving. At this point, I'm, I'm hoping everybody can see my screen. If, uh, if you couldn't see the screen, uh, it's time for some IT. Uh, but other than that, we're gonna move on and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about ScanCo. So ScanCo has been around for a lot longer than most people think. Uh, we started in 1989. Uh, the real magic started happening in 1992 when we entered into our first formal agreements with Sage. What's that mean? 1992. So we have been working directly with Sage for almost three decades. So the level of integration, the, the cohesiveness, uh, the team that we've developed and the relationship we've developed with Sage helps us deliver a higher level of, of customer satisfaction than most other companies uh, in the channel. And, and we're excited about what the future holds with Sage. Uh, another couple pieces of note on this uh, slide here. And, and just for, for your sake, I'm not going to put a slide up and then have uh, read it to you. So uh, if you're listening, you can go ahead and read. I'll touch some points and we'll go from there. Um, but a couple things to really focus on here are uh, some of the acquisitions we've made in the last few years. So we've always been a company uh, that's trying to innovate and provide uh, the highest level of customer service, innovation, and experience uh, to all our clients possible. Uh, so while doing so, we wanted to provide a complete solution. So over the last few years, we've acquired a, a multi-bin solution through ACS and uh, the job ops solution through JDB, and we brought them all under the one ScanCo house, and uh, we're continuing to innovate, continuing to develop, and continuing to better our software for the customer experience. That's what it's all about, right? Happy customers is, is what we need to do. So we're a software company. Uh, our, we, our software is designed to help you. And what we like about our software, what we love about our software is we like to keep things simple. So nobody wants to purchase, spend a lot of money on complex software that you can't operate. So we understand that and we wanna make connecting that software to your employees, uh, your customers, easy and simple. So simplicity is key here. And if you, uh, if you go a little further down um, the rabbit hole with us in the future, you'll see uh, all that simplicity and what that really means. Awesome. So what I wanna do first, now that I've told you a little bit about who we are, uh, I want to um, show you why we're the experts. I wanna bring some credibility to what we're saying because uh, I might just be some random guy off the street telling you a whole bunch of nonsense. But 
we're not. We've got thousands of happy customers who provided us years of feedback and have been a, a huge part of our growth and success. Um, so these companies are more than willing to put their name and stamp us and tell us how great. So here, Diversified Machines, a manufacturing company uh, that, that we brought into the 21st century. We, we help them increase their efficiency and accuracy. They're growing, they're happy. The, the solution is simple for their employees, which seems to be the biggest key for them. Goldcrest Distributing. So we had a manufacturer first. We also work with distributors. Basically anybody who's got some inventory or, or who is creating or assembling or, or moving items around, uh, we have a solution that can fit there. With Goldcrest, you can see all of what we were able to do with them. And, and Cody over there, uh, if you ever get a chance to meet him at one of the events or, or bump into him, you just ask him about us and, and he'll, tell you, uh, he'll tell you himself. So we are really excited to have a, a really tight-knit family of customers and employees here providing excellent service for, uh, for people who are looking to make a little bit of a change. All right. Through the uh, rest of the presentation, I'm going to throw some, some stats at you and some numbers. And they're not numbers that I Googled or grabbed off of Wikipedia. These are actually uh, from the site, uh, the work cited here. So take a quick look. Uh, Peerless Research Group, uh, IFS is a company that does a, a lot of third-party Anal analyzing of, of marketing campaigns and data. So we, we really dug through a lot of this to kind of bring you some stats that might help make sense and show why Scanco and our mobile solutions and our real-time solutions uh, will be the best fit for you, right? All right, so here's some of those stats and numbers I was throwing at you. Uh, everybody take a second to uh, read through there and, and check it out. These, this, is, this is what Zebra says is going to happen in the next five years. Now, if you're not familiar with Zebra, I'm sure everybody is, but if you're not, um, great company we do a lot of work with, and they would have the data. They provide thousands of scanning devices. Uh, they've accumulated all of this data and forecasted what the industry will look like in the future. And this is just a touch of, of what they found. Really big piece that we found uh, interesting is that 76% of people polled are using uh, best of breed or full featured w WMS system. So that's a warehouse management system. So it's already happening. In five years, seven, three out of four companies are going to be using some sort of automation in their warehouse. So what does that mean for us? Are you going to be a part of that 76% or, or part of the 24%? Right, 70% are looking to add automation. So any, most people in their organization are always looking for a way to increase productivity, increase accuracy, efficiency. Uh, a lot of times people think, okay, we need to add more staff. Well, adding automation is another avenue to explore. You don't just have to add staff. You might make those staff stronger staff by providing them technology to help them do their job at a higher level. So the future looks good for automation. The future looks good for anybody who requires real-time, instant access to information. And who requires real-time, instant access to information? Well, I think it's about everybody, uh, not just workers, um, not just us, um, kids, grandparents. Everybody is going mobile. Everybody wants things simple. Everybody wants things easy. Um, that's the trend. Uh, what I want to do real quick, uh, I know nobody can speak, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to type them in the uh, text box uh, or, or take notes and put them down. There's going to be an opportunity for me to answer some of those questions or, or an opportunity for us to connect at a later time and uh, get those questions answered for you. The idea behind this is to generate those questions. So if you're a little confused or you want more or you need to see more, that's perfect because we want to be able to provide that for you. All right. Sip of water and we're on. The next slide here, manufacturing mobility operations statistics and challenges of today. That's a mouthful. What does that mean? 
mobile connection is becoming the most important aspect of our lives. So our lives are not just at home like I discussed, they're at work. We spend more time with our people, with our co-employees than we do with our family sometimes. So this study by VDC shows that 80% of the respondents agree that mobile solutions are more important this year than last. That's 85%. That's almost anybody you talk to right now is going to have a, a better understanding of what mobile solutions are, a higher need, a higher demand than they did last year. Uh, that's because the trend is just growing and growing and growing. Now, the, the scary thing is only 18% eight, of those 85 have actually deployed it. So everybody's thinking about it, everybody sees it, everybody knows which way it's going, but not everybody is either willing, ready, or able to, to make that leap and, and automate transactions in their warehouse and on their shop floor. But it's coming and it's happening. Give me just a second here. So the future, why? Why is this happening? What's going on? I've got another study from IFS. It says that 31% of executives are accessing their ERP from a mobile device. So they're able to go into their device and check inventory levels, check statuses on jobs, check their system, have access to their ERP. 17% have additional functionality in that access. They're actually able to complete transactions. They're actually able to use a touchscreen device to actually complete some of this off-site. Things traditionally stuck in the office and, and trapped to IT uh, and administrative staff, now you can take out of the office and, and bring it with you. So why is this? I would think, and I would like to say that in the past, uh, automating your your industry might have, your, your business might have been something save for the big guys, save for the huge industries, the organizations who have hundred million dollar budgets, but our solution, our goal is to bring affordable enterprise level programming to your small, medium, and large businesses. So this growth is all directly related to access. The more access you have at a lower price point, the easier it is to, to make that leap and automate your warehouse or your shop floor. So let's let's talk about some of the, the things that are, are driving this. Has anybody uh, out there, I know you can't speak, so you can't put your hands up, but you can put your hand up. Uh, I won't be able to see it. Uh, has anybody heard these? Uh, physical count is inaccurate and takes too long. Uh, my inventory doesn't even match what Sage says our inventory is. I'm not sure where that item is or where it might actually be. I can't find this item. We are shipping the wrong items. We're shipping incomplete orders. It takes too long to receive items into inventory. And our total life cycle of inventory is greater than 72 hours. We're holding on to things too fast. You know, the, the problem with all that is your customer nowadays, instant gratification. There's, there's no time for delay. There's no time for waiting. They, they want information quickly and you need to be able to provide it quickly with, with mobile, with a mobile solution, you're able to have that data at your fingertips. You're able to complete transactions based on your company and how your system is set up that is gonna enable you to give instantaneous feedback to clients. Uh, because if you're not, the next guy is, uh, and, and they're the ones that are gonna retain the business. So some other factors that are driving the mobility change, uh, you can see here. These are some of the things that we're consistently seeing companies use mobile solutions for. So anything from quality control to your shipping and receiving, restocking and put away, all these transactions that are critical to your, your business, your business success, um, issuing, issuing materials to work tickets, whatever it may be, any of the transactions that you're using out of Sage, we're gonna be able to automate those and, and increase the accuracy and the efficiency uh, of those transactions. 
I'm going to take a quick second again. Uh, if anybody has any questions, to write them down and uh, let me know if they need anything else. And I will hit a button and get back to where I was, hopefully. Good, great. All right, so on this screen, you're gonna see some of the things that we're trying to fix. I asked you, I asked just a second ago if you've, you've heard any of those statements I, I listed earlier about uh, the pains that we're having, and, and those are exactly the pains everybody's having. You're, you're not alone. Um, anybody who, who is, is adjusting and working through Sage manually with Excel sheets or Word documents, whatever creative way uh, has been put in place to bring your business to where it is now, um, you're at some point we'll start to see some of the same problems that people see industry-wide. Um, and right here are, are some of the biggest uh, issues that people are facing. And we take a look at all of this data and, and we design and develop future uh, applications, modifications to, to answer these fix these issues right these are pretty easy I'm sure you can talk about a million other things uh, that you'd like to do and that we can do uh, these are just a few of, of the most common pieces that that we see all right so some of the additional pains without mobility we talked about a few right look at the manual transactions think about how much time that takes think about the revenue that's lost and you know the lost revenue used to be the most important thing but it seems nowadays or it is nowadays that customer satisfaction is now the most important piece here it only takes one wrong shipment one late order for someone to jump on and, and write a google review or, or post a negative review about you so having the ability to elevate your customer service is going to be uh, through automation and, and instant access, instant real-time access to your information is going to help you do that. You know, we're always dealing with poor quality issues related to quality and task scheduling, um, you know, and, and finding items. It seems to be the biggest issue, you know, as you grow and as you expand, as you add product lines, as you change product lines, as you diversify yourself, your inventory diversifies. And as that goes, it quickly gets out of control and things end up all over the place. And if you're lucky enough to have a long time warehouse or manufacturing staff that knows where everything is, hang on to them. Uh, they don't stick around forever. They're not around forever because you, you always need to be in a position to replace that individual with somebody else but give them the tools to be just as effective you know we don't want to replace people we want to give people the tools to be better to do better to be more accurate so all these pains you see here are issues that we're constantly trying to uh, address constantly trying to improve not just us but you guys as well I, I would imagine so think about this it's obvious to most manufacturers and distributors that paperless systems improve efficiency by reducing manual work. I'm sorry, I am reading this, but it's the only thing on the slide, so I'm going to read it. We're going to think about it. But imagine, that's what this is all about. Imagine the possibility. What could be accomplished if a company could use mobile technology to create real-time connections among the warehouse and production floor in the ERP system? Just think about that for a minute. All of those inefficiencies all that time spent chasing paper, chasing numbers, chasing people, uh, going back through records, figuring this out, figuring that out. Where was this? Where was that? Imagine if all that just disappeared, just gone. And what in its place is a streamlined, real-time, instantaneous system that gives you the ability to access information, whether it be for your warehouse or production floor, at the tip of your finger. Not only that, in the most simple user-friendly interface uh, on the market. That's it, right? Think about that. Uh, everybody we talk to, everybody I talk to, can't wait to get rid of the paper chase, can't wait to get rid of that Excel document, can't wait to get rid of all those external processes that end up con complicating things more than completing things. So some of the basic benefits, I mean, you can already imagine if you, if you cut all that out first, time, money, sanity is a big one. I know some people are pulling their hair out 
to the point where they have none uh, over some of these issues. But here on the warehouse and manufacturing side, look at some of the benefits. Um, these are just high level benefits. You know, we're improving quality. The efficiency of the shop floor is going no more. Uh, okay, well, we finished this, we're missing one piece, or we need this, or this is supposed to be here and it didn't get ordered and now we have to wait another two weeks. Uh, so all those things we can improve uh, by giving your employees instant access to the database uh, to make sure that everything is validated that we're doing and everything is on the level. You know, when people think of scanning and think of uh, barcodes, most of the time they think of, okay, we're just going to save a bunch of time. That's the big thing. We're going to save time. We're going to be quick. We're going to be fast. Uh, but we like to throw in there, the more important piece is to be accurate. So yes, you will be faster, but you will be, your accuracy is going to go off the chart. And you can create, you can control the level of accuracy. You can get as granular and as controlled as you want, or you can take a lot of those restrictions off and, and it, it, it fits into any kind of industry. So whether you're a five, six employee shop or 50, 60 employee shop or a 500 to a thousand employee shop, we've got a solution, uh, a number of solutions that can fit in um, to your pain points and help you overcome whatever obstacle or hurdle you've you've run up against. That's the whole thing, right? We want to provide a solution that helps. That's why it's called a solution. It's going to fix a problem. Problems are usually inefficiency, inaccuracy. So those are the things we're going to tackle. All right. Good. I didn't see any questions, haven't seen anything typed. So if anybody has anything, go ahead and throw it down there. Um, maybe I'm just not seeing them, but if if not, we're gonna we're gonna get them all afterwards, anyways. So this slide here is us. I talked about the solution. We've got the solution. We're the ones that can make it work for you through our core software and the multitude of enhancements that we have and also the ability to do any modifications that we need we can find a solution for you depending on what kind of pain that you have we can come in there and, and gather the information and, and provide a solution and we love to work with different companies and get to know people because the better we know you uh, the better we're able to provide a solution that makes sense and remember the biggest thing is keep things easy keep things simple uh, if it's simple for us and simple for you, then it's going to be simple for your employees and all that simplicity is going to roll over to the customer experience. And that's what it's all about, the customer experience. So here, connecting the warehouse and manufacturing today, ScanCo Mobility. All right, in 2017, we, we introduced mobility. So we are automating manual tasks inside of Sage. You know, that, that's, that's basically what we do. So this mobility is just another piece of the puzzle that we continue to add and innovate our services. A part of the mobility app, we also now have a sales app where you have sales reps out in the field that can create purchase orders or sales orders and adjust those sales orders and check inventory in real time. So we have a lot of capability to fit into a lot of different pieces of your business depending on, on what you're trying to get out of our software. Uh, I think it's important to so, uh, show down here that, that we provide solutions for iOS and Android devices. Our, all of our mobile dev, uh, mobile soft, mobile solutions uh, work on iOS or Android. So uh, the apps are, are native apps. You can download, you can go right now on your smartphone, which I know everybody has, uh, and you could search in the app store, uh, ScanCo Warehouse, and you're going to see our apps. You can search for mobility. You can search for ScanCo sales, and you're going to see all of those come up. So we have native applications. Uh, just shows a, we like to make things simple. Everybody's used to using an iPhone and Android, so let's develop our software to work just like everything else. You know, so just like clicking into a banking app or clicking into your favorite social media, you can click into your mobile applications for your business, and depending on how you have it set up and at what level you come in at, uh, look at or complete specific transactions. So the sky's the limit, depending on what you really want to do and what you really want to get out of it. My doc was showing again. That's good. That means I'm talking too much. So let's go here. 
this is the integration cycle. So what's important about this is we are a truly integrated system into Sage. Right? As I showed you earlier, we've got almost three decades worth of relationship time. We'll leave it at that with them. So through the good, through the bad, we, we maintain that relationship. And what that means is a tighter connection with our software and Sage. So we are not a database that sits on the outside of, of your system and, and reports in and pulls information out. Our software uses your Sage tables as its database. So we are truly integrated. We are the only truly integrated system into Sage. Right? Good. So what's that mean? It means real time. It means when you make a transaction or, or, or complete something on a handheld or on one of our mobile applications, it's happening on your Sage server in real time. It, it, it's happening right there. If I create a sales order and I sell 100 widgets, those widgets are, are taken out of in inventory instantaneous. And right then, as 150 widgets come in and I scan those in, those are going right into inventory as well. No syncing, no, no saving, no 24-hour overnight, none of that stuff. Just real-time access to information and real-time data entry. So this just shows you a little bit uh, of the flow of, of how we can set up our system. Another important thing to point out is, you know, we're not, limited, we're not limited by your hardware. There's a lot of different options and things we can do. Uh, there's cloud-based services. We can do new servers. We can move servers. There's, you know, we have the ability to work with SWK and, and get any company of any size at any place, at any level, and, and put together a package for them that's going to make sense, make money, and, and you know, be of value for the organization. Uh, we wouldn't be here for 30 years if there wasn't value in our software and the 1800 clients uh, are, are a testament to that value. Uh, a little bit about hardware. You know, um, these are mobile computers. I mean, basically a smartphone on steroids just designed to uh, complete specific tasks. So we love Zebra. We talked about Zebra and their, uh, their stats and some of their research that we do that we use to kind of uh, guide some of our innovation. But this is just an idea of what some of the hardware looks like. They're mobile handheld computers. They have scanners, scanning devices on them. We have devices that are sleds that you slide a phone into and, and put the scanning device around the phone. We have all-in-one devices that are just, it, that's all it does, like the old school BlackBerry, but it's a scanner, it's new age, and it's awesome. And we also have uh, scanners you can throw against the wall. Now, not too hard, but you could throw it against the wall. And uh, if you work in that kind of environment, we have that for you. So what I like to do is the, the, the biggest thing about what we provide is we provide flexibility and we provide a real-time solution. So no matter where you're at in your business or what you're planning on doing, I assume if you're here, you're planning on growing and you want to see growth, you see opportunity for growth, but there's a lot of hurdles and a lot of roadblocks in the way. Let us uh, have the opportunity to see if we can clear up some of those roadblocks. Uh, we work very closely with SWK, and they're great folks. Uh, so you've already taken the first awesome step. And, and if we can come together and, and help any of you out, uh, that would be awesome. All right, and I think this is the last slide on my show. So this is where I say goodbye and thank you. Uh, this is where I urge any of you who, who have any questions uh, to please ask them. This is where I urge anybody to, um, if you're excited about something, you know, write that down, keep, keep that going, and, and let's make some progress. Let's, let's work on this. Let's put some steps together to, to make some changes. Yeah, and I think uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't timing, but it's just under a half hour. So uh, I think that wraps up my portion of this, this webinar. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. So awesome. I, I appreciate everybody's time and I look forward to, to hearing the questions and answering questions. And if anybody needs anything else, uh, I look forward to that opportunity as well. Sounds great, Phil. So it looks like um, we don't have any questions um, yet. I'll give it a couple more seconds to see if anything comes through. Um, and while uh, we wait for any questions, I did want to remind the audience that if you have any additional questions after the Q&A or after our session, 
um, that you can always email your customer account manager um, or camteam at swktech.com um, if you have any questions um, or are interested in seeing the demo. Um, again, we will be sending out the recording of this webinar um, in a follow-up email to everyone. Um, and you are more than welcome to yeah. respond to that as well um, with any questions. Um, but it doesn't look like we have any um, questions. So that concludes our webinar today. And so I wanted to thank everyone for joining. Thank you, Phil, um, for all of the information. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you for attending. Thank you all so very much. Have a great day.